So look guys, I'm not trying to get controversial. I know someone's going to say that's not, you know, uh, stump removal, um, trickery. Um, guys, I, I don't know how to do that stuff, that CGI on camera trick shots. Here, here's what I know. <clears throat> At the widest, it was about three feet wide. It had flare roots. We ground out all the roots on the side, came underneath it, popped out what I'm calling the tap root. After that, I subsoiled below grade nine inches and drove straight through where the stump was. It, it, it's gone. The, the stump was removed. I, I know that someone's going to say, well, I had this stump and the... <sighs> Look, I, I don't know what to tell you. For an ash tree, I can de-stump it. There's also, uh, on the bigger video, you'll see me hitting a pine tree and, and multiple other stumps also. Um, that is stump removal. It's not conventional, may look a little different, but all the roots around it, we blew up with uh, the stump grinder. So if you say, well, yeah, but this stump was, you know, over here, maybe some roots or whatnot. Remember, we ground out all those with the stump grinder all the way around it. And then drove straight through it and then popped out some other roots on the, on the side of it as well. You know, big, big roots too. Um, not going to get drawn out here. Is what it is. I came under it after I got the tap root came under it another nine inches below grade so now we're over a foot below grade and their stump is gone it's it's de-stumped it's no longer hasta la vista the roots that came off it we pulled those out too i don't know not trying to get into argument not trying to start controversy it's not clickbait it's just what i do as a contractor i got about an hour of tractor time in into that one stump. Um, good luck with the stump bucket. Hopefully enjoyed it, because <laughs> we got more. We got uh, three more where that one came from. Cheers from the bulldog guys. This is the start of the first uh, stump that we have to remove, not just grind, but remove. You can see it's taller than actually the stump grinder. I go around trying to hit the roots that you know are growing off the side of it, hit it with a bucket, and then start grinding. And yeah, here was the other stump. Remember, I mean, it was up, you know, yay high anyways, that crown and everything. I mean, it was, it was a good foot. Uh, another stump removal via a stump grinder and a front end loader. So... Yeah, hopefully that's given you some ideas that, yeah, you can tackle a stump removal if you have a stump grinder and a front end loader, even on a little lawnmower. Uh, absolutely. Um, so, still got more work to do. Hopefully you enjoyed, uh, enjoyed it so far. Well, pine stump. Uh, got some roots. I think what I want to do is do some root chasing so I can see where I'm working with first. Uh, probably another one that's just going to get, you know, blown up. I can, can see it coming up a little. So, yeah, it's going to be, oh, an eight-foot excavation area anyways. But, uh, yeah, we'll knock it out and on to the next one. Going to use the same recipe for success. Start out at the side, do your root chasing, try to detach those roots from the stump as much as possible. Switch sides and keep on doing what we're doing. Just root chasing, get those roots out of there and then we're going to start hitting the stump. Yep, now on to the stump. You'll see a little bit of smoke happen. Though That's just from very, very dull stump grinder teeth. Uh, 
they need to be replaced. Uh, just haven't gotten to it yet. It'll still work, but we are making, you know, smaller wood chips versus, you know, the, the big wood peels. Anywho, just keep grinding down on the stump. Get it as small as possible so it's as light as possible and it also isn't, you know, holding back, you know, on the earth and isn't going to fight you any more than possible. Just keep going. You'll get it. Once you're relatively sure that you've hit all the roots coming into the stump, then just start poking around and you're going to have a big area. It's going to be a big berth. Keep going at it and pretty soon you'll get into it and pop. There it is. Well, I hope... Uh... Hope the video caught uh, removing the uh, the tap root, the whole root. Um, don't know. Don't know if I've seen a compact tractor YouTube a uh, stump removal, stump grinding. Sure. Um, that was a I don't know this size uh, pine tree. Pretty good sized. Um, the other one was uh ash tree even bigger uh i don't know if quite got the quite got the shot on that one either it's uh you know when you're the operator owner production crew it's uh, a little hard to get all those shots but hopefully we caught that one if not, you know, there'll be there'll be more this year to to catch, but yeah, it's a it's a disaster trying to do stump removals. Conventional? No. No, that was not a conventional uh approach. Uh you'd want a you'd want a excavator. But Showing that a, a stump grinder and a front end loader yeah, absolutely can do a stump removal project. It's, it's a big disaster area, but hey, that'll work. Uh, five, three more stumps to go. Um, all equally as nasty as this, so. Hopefully you follow along. Hopefully you find something entertaining. Uh, remember, if I can do it, so can you. Okay, so stump removal number two. Um, can you remove a stump with a uh, lawnmower? Absolutely. Do it with a bobcat. Why can't you do it with a uh, tractor? Just did. Did two of them. Um, don't know if we quite got, you know, the money shot, the tap root, you know, coming out, but, uh, promise you we got it. Um, and this is, you know, what a bucket grading, um, <laughs> trying to deconstruct our construction area. Um, we're going to come through and, you know, regrass all this stuff. We got a lot more work at this property, but, uh, yeah. At least uh, when the, the rest of the stump starts decomposing, you know, the, the client here won't be left with, you know, the depression that uh, I, I go do lawn restorations and see it all the time. I'm like, oh, there was a stump there. Like, yeah, they ground it out. I'm like, oh, they ground some of it out. <sighs> but to not get the depression, you have to do a stump removal, not a stump grind, a uh, stump grind only. Um, so yeah, your stump grinder can do stump removal also if they have the right tools and uh, you know the right skill set. You want to see what uh, an area like this looks like? Um, let's walk over to the dumpster and I'll show you what uh, two stump removals look like. So, so yeah, I mean that's kind of it. That's your two stump removals from, you know, front of the tractor and, you know, back there a little bit. Not too shabby, huh? All right, stump, stump number three. 
Uh, can you see the crown coming up here? This is, uh, this is what we need to get flat. Uh, we got roots going six, eight feet uh, on the back side. I'll show you that. But uh, this will be the next, well, stump removal. So a different angle, same stump. These are, you know, the roots that we need to start chasing and uh, blow those up because you're not going to get a flat lawn uh, with roots standing there. Even on this side, I mean, it's still, you know, crowns. Good eight inches anyways. I mean, all the way around it um, just keeps going up. The next one is a stump right behind us. And that is a... Uh, that's another monster, uh, roots going everywhere. Um, we'll go take a look at that while we have sunlight. This is probably the biggest one. This thing is just nasty. This is, I don't even know how, you, how you'd measure this one. Um, I mean, it's, it's three, three feet wide, but I mean, to come down here, you have I don't know, foot, over a foot elevation change. And then all these roots all through here. Uh, huge, huge, uh, huge monster. Show you from the other side too. So same stump just on the other side of it. I mean, it's, she's a big old thing. Uh, ash tree, so relatively hard wood in this one the, the roots just went on the surface and um, this is going to be a 30 foot excavation uh, this <laughs> this would probably fill up the dumpster just itself but uh, the dumpster is you know three quarters full already so we're going to do what we can and uh, yeah 10 yard dumpster goes quick huh okay this is the start of the third stump it's an ash tree this is just me going around trying to break loose those surface roots from the stump uh going down you know as relatively as deep as i can blast through a couple roots and then we're going to start hitting the actual stump itself uh, pretty high stump, not, not, not the highest, but, uh, you know, definitely wasn't cut down very low either. And the higher the stump, well, the more stump grinding you're going to have to do and the more wood chips you're going to make. So I thought we were right on it, but uh, I guess I was on the back side of it. We'll get it now though. Ah. There it is. what used to be its glory. Got a root right here. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it from this angle. Get a root here. different roots. Not getting the root I want. 
Oh, Bumblebee. Okay, so we'll do a quick little outro. Um, so that was what, 27 by 38, uh, kind of an oblong ash tree. So medium hard, uh, ash is fairly, fairly hard, harder than a pine anyways, and you saw us uh, de-stump a pine. So that's how you can uh, stump remove on a little compact tractor. Um, I, I have a stump bucket. Those are good for five, six inch trees at best. Uh, it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't do a, it wouldn't do a hill of beans on a three foot ash tree. Yeah, you kidding me? Uh, not gonna happen. Um, about an hour of tractor time to uh, take the entire stump out. Um, unconventional, yeah. Uh, I'd rather have you know mini excavator don't own a mini excavator i own a tractor and a stump grinder so you, you saw how i did i kind of went through the technique take out all the roots on the side with a stump grinder right dig out around the side come into the, and dig dig the stump down you know as much as you can and then come under it and uh, lift it up you, you'll pull the tap root out um so yeah Hope you, hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully, you know, it sparks some thought. I just don't like stump buckets on uh, compact tractors. I, I, I just, they just don't seem to amount to a whole lot. Um, I'd rather use a stump grinder and the front end loader and, and just, just go at it. About an hour of time, three foot stump. I don't, that's all I can say is let, let that speak for itself. Hey, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you know, hopefully you found, you know, some entertainment. Hopefully, you know, maybe um, got some thought process going, uh, going on and sparked a couple of your own questions, your own thoughts. Um, you know, if you have any comments, any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. We're going to get into, you know, four and five foot trees yet, uh, and we're going to take the stumps out. This is just a short one, a quick little, uh, you know, three foot stump removal project. Appreciate your time. Thanks for joining. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. If you see me doing it, remember, I'm sure you can do it better than I can. <laughs> Cheers from the Bulldog. Well, demolition part has been demolished. Um, now kind of all that's left is, uh, you know, start uh, tilling, grading, and then installing a lawn. That's, that's definitely in the wheelhouse. Um, so stump grind, stump removal, um, you know, here, it's a lot. Um, you know, that was a, uh, 
That was a big stump. But now all we got to do is uh, a little tilling, a little bit of grading, and install lawn. That's, that's no big deal. That's right in our wheelhouse. So I think with that, I think we still got work to do. Well, dang it. Um, thought I had the video recording uh, popping the, the big root. Um, guess it didn't. But, you know, here's all the roots that we ground down. This is uh, the, the top of the root um, where, you know, we were grinding. So this is, you know, the top of the stump. Grind, you just keep grinding, get all your roots down on the side of it. And then, you know, you, you come underneath it and you just try to get what you can. This is, this would be down in the ground, um, coming underneath it. Yeah, you, sometimes you gotta dig down, you know, a ways. That's, you know, here, I'm sure we were all of that, um, you know, down in the excavation area. But yeah, um, <laughs> dang it, wish, uh, Wish the camera would have worked. Uh, this this is kind of cool to see this one pop out, but definitely wanted to show you the uh, the root ball, the the tap root, the whatever, uh, and then you know all the other subsequent roots that you know flared out, fanned out from it. So, quick little shot there is pretty heavy to try to manipulate but you can see this is where all the uh, stump grinder was grinding trying to get it flat um, obviously I was coming here grinding this way stopped for whatever reason but yeah this would be the top of top of what you'd see if you were grinding the stump and yeah for reference these are all the uh, roots that you have to get out also to do you know full stump removal uh you know big excavator probably take you know the the stump itself and the roots all in one big you know clamshell um little tractor you just got to break a big job into little peats part uh take a big job break it into little parts uh but yeah for perspective it's a lot of roots big job Okay, back at it again. We got to take care of this stump. This has a pretty decent rise in it. And uh, we have, <laughs> we got disaster back there also. A uh, lot, of, lot of debris, got to get a lot of, uh, a lot of cleanup. Um, but the only way to tackle it is just dive right in. Let's get this thing at least ground flat and um, kind of see where we're at and we'll figure out a place to go after that. I think you probably watched me grind enough stumps, so we're gonna blast through this on uh, uh, fast forward style. But basically, uh, this stump 
didn't have the mound that was, you know, crowned up, built up uh, quite as bad as the others. It's, it's also in an area that's not going to get a whole lot of traffic. So just quick grind it. All right. Well, this one, uh, we are out of room on the dumpster. I'm not going to do a stump removal. It's in an area that, you know, five, six years, you will see some settling from the stump. But I, I think it's manageable. It's on a side yard. Now the backyard where, you know, kids and the dog and everything else. Yeah, sure, we want it as flat as possible and we want it, you know, long-term, you know, value. Uh, it's definitely worth going after this stump there. If it's right in the center of your yard, um, might be worth going after and trying to get the stump out. Not going to try to do a stump removal. This is a quick stump grind very different. Uh, I, I hope that makes sense. Um, you know, spend the time, spend the value where you're going to get the biggest bang for the buck on an side back lot area. Um, I, I, I have a hard time going to my client and saying, Hey, let me uh, bill you another hour, two hours to go down and get the uh, stump versus, you know, just a quick, stump grind uh so all we gotta do here is kind of uh i don't know, put lipstick on a pig <laughs> clean it up uh we're, we're probably gonna import some uh, topsoil and we'll topsoil over this yep there's gonna be some settling there's gonna be you know some of this breaking down uh we should be able to mask that to a to an extent again we're not going for super uh, super status. This is, you know, like, hey, let's, uh, let's get a value, but let's not, you know, break the bank on this area. We got just a pile of uh, debris over there. Um, outside of my scope was, um, you know, debris removal. I, I give the clients that option. I tell them, you know, hey, this is, you know, a couple of the places I use. This is uh, about the quantity I estimate. Uh, so now I got to go back and figure out, you know, what we're going to do with that because that, um, that stump escalated significantly. <laughs> so we'll uh, tackle that. We'll clean this up. And uh, then we'll get to replanting some seed and see if we can actually get a lawn where some of these uh, stumps were uh, in about 21 days from now. A lot of work to do. Let's do it. So same project area, same site. Um, this is what I was talking about. Guaranteed there was a stump here. Um, and this is after the stump, you know, biodegrades years and years later if you don't bring in you know topsoil to take the place of what rotted decayed turned to gas right you're going to have a depression um you're going to have you know a solid evaporate biodegrade biodegrade that void is now going to look like this and you're going to have a little crater Guaranteed there was a tree here, this, the root ball, the taproot, the stump, the, the whatever you want to call it, biodegraded, creating a cavity. So that's probably, you know, what will happen. We're hopefully not going to get this much settling when we bring in a little bit of topsoil and, you know, kind of heave it. But if you just take the, the wood chips, pile them together, smash them all down, and then say, okay, now it's flat and level. Over time, you're going to get, you know, a depression like this. Um, just, just the way it is. I, I saw it here, and I went, "Hey, that'll uh, hopefully give a little more context to uh, why you would want to stump grind versus stump remove." Okay, that is harder than it looks to try to photograph, but hopefully you can kind of see the slight crater. It's, you know, maybe two inches, three inches, but the crater is all around. Um, 
hard, uh, hard to show on video, but I, I think you get the idea.